Operation last night leads to three Raymond Detention Center officers being put behind bars this morning. Three on your side's Joseph Doring has new information from the Hines County Sheriff Tyree Jones about the charges they're facing. Joseph? That's right, Courtney Ann. This overnight job by several divisions of the Hines County Sheriff's Office wasn't even meant to seek out just these three officers, but anyone who might be involved with the bringing of contraband into the Raymond Detention Center. Sergeant Harry Rutledge, Detention Officer Arkesha Martin, and Detention Officer Kayla Sims were all on duty Tuesday night before the Hines County Sheriff's Office put them in the same jail cells that they guard every day. Rutledge and Martin are charged with conspiracy to introduce contraband to a penal facility as well as the introduction of contraband to a penal facility, which are both felonies, while Sims was only charged with conspiracy. Hines County Sheriff Tyree Jones says on top of the arrests, his team recovered illegal drugs, $4,500 cash, a pistol, and a cell phone. We believe that these items would have made it into the Raymond Detention Center at some point yesterday evening to late last night, and the individuals that are arrested would be the ones that would have been responsible for introducing the recovered items into the facility as well. Sheriff Jones says all three officers were officially terminated as of this afternoon. Sheriff Jones also says his team cannot rule out that the cell phone they recovered could be the phone that was given to Jordan Cummins to post a disturbing video from his jail cell Sunday night following his arrest for killing two individuals at the Howell St. Paddy's Day Parade. We have not been able to necessarily connect those cell phones that we recovered Sunday evening to this investigation, but it's a strong possibility and we're not ruling that out at this particular time. But that investigation is still ongoing. The individuals in that video are also facing charges of our introduction of contraband into a penal facility as well. Now, Sheriff Jones says regardless of if that specific phone is found to be connected to these arrests, then whoever was responsible for it will be held responsible. Joseph Doring, three on your side.